I'm just going to talk a bit about the relationship we have between conscious thinking versus subconscious. And recent research is suggesting that we never forget an experience. Okay, so anything you've done in your life is all stored in here. Therefore, it is the richest source of stimulus you will ever have. My fundamental belief is if you want to get good at creativity, what you need to do is learn how to use that subconscious more deliberately for you. Quite simply, I think that we spend far too much of our time trying to analyse the roots that we invest in. If we feel them more by experimenting, we have more chance to place the right bets. Because eventually you have to narrow down your options, you can't invest in everything. So a lot of people say, I know I, I think too much and I should feel more. How do I get the feeling working for me? I say do more stuff, experiment more, make things real more. If we do more stuff, we have more learning that is in our very cells. It's stuff that we can reapply throughout our project life. So we have this kind of uh, negativity bias in our brain. When we see new things, we see it as danger. Now, it was great when we were cavemen because it used to be all about saber-toothed tigers and actually a negativity bias was kind of useful. Yeah? But these days, what we worry about is change, new ideas. Yeah? So we tend to do things that we've done. We like habit. We need to overcome that. We need to be brave and we need to talk about our ideas and share them happily, knowing they might not work. Experiment more, try things out, get more stimulus into your life and ultimately overcome that caveman fear, that, that issue that holds us back from doing new and different things. Because if you make it a part of your everyday life and you have a portfolio approach, the ones that work pay for the ones that don't a thousand times over.